Hi, this is Theo from PuckerBlocks.com. Today I'm going to talk about how you can sort of change your style just by changing the different types of drawing materials, the paper, the tools that you are using. So let's take a look at some of the drawings that I've drawn with different materials. These are different drawings I drew today with different medium. Let me start with the first one. This is drawn with black India ink. I use some water to dilute the ink to get the grey tones. Then I applied layer upon layer to get the darker tones. As for the background, this is ink straight from the bottle. You can see that this drawing is quite striking because the contrast is very strong. Also, there's not so much gradation. The colors appear to be a bit flat. Next up, let's take a look at the second drawing I drew today. This is with graphite pencil. I use HB, 4B and 9B pencil. You can see here that the look is very different. Here you get a more textural look because you can see the paper texture. You can see the white of the paper showing through. You can see the hatching line of the pencils. You can see also just the overall look is very different. And the contrast for the pencil is not as strong as the ink. And different medium will give you that different look. With pencil, you can do shading. You can use pencils for doing line art as well. For example, in this drawing here, I use pencils to draw the lines. So I use pencils to draw the outline for this guy who's reading the newspaper. As for the background, since I'm using lines, I went ahead to just do some hashing lines for the background. You can see that this look and feel is very different from this. Also, there's the addition of the color which makes it a bit more interesting visually. And while I'm drawing lines, I went ahead to use a brush pen. You can see that this drawing and this drawing, again, the style is very different. First of all, the contrast is different because this is very striking. It's black, uh, black and white. You can see different strokes as well. The brush pen is able to give you thick and thin strokes. So here we have thin and the black areas. I use the side of the brush to get the black, black areas here. And then I use some hatching lines for the shadow areas. Here I use thick lines. With the pencil, you can do that as well, but it's not going to be, it's not going to look the same compared to the brush pen. So again, same style of drawing. I'm using lines, but different look. Next up, I went ahead to use um, ballpoint pen. This drawing is drawn with different colored ballpoint pens. I started with blue, went down, switched to purple, then switched to green, and then finally to red. Then I went in to add some tones with water-soluble color pencils. Same thing for the background, but with the background, I added water to get the watercolor wash. And while it's still wet, I went in with the dry pencil again to do the cross hatching lines. So even for a drawing like this, I use different mediums, I use different techniques and the look, the style is also very different. You can see the striking lines versus the very textural pencil marks versus the ink, the watercolor wash behind. So very different. And when you compare all the different drawings, Oh, there's one more. This is a watercolor sketch. This is my usual style, which is ink and watercolor. So again, very different. You can see that this is much less textural because the pencil lines with the paper texture. This is more textural looking than this. But this is more colorful. The colors are stronger. The colors are also flatter and the look is very different compared to a pencil drawing. Using different tools, different techniques, different materials, this is probably one of the easiest way to change the look of your style. For example, I'm the same person who drew these three drawings but they all look different because I was using different medium. And this is something that you can try out on your own very easily as well. 
Another reason why I recommend using different medium is because it will help you think differently. The way you think when you're using watercolor, when you're using pencil, when you're using a pen or a brush pen, it's going to be very different. So with pencil, you can use it to shade, you can use it to draw lines. But with ballpoint pen, you can use it to draw lines only. With watercolor, you can sometimes use it to draw lines, but you have to use it to make washes. So just the idea of using different mediums you have to um, it will force you to use uh, a different way of thinking it will force you to use different techniques so for example just now I was using this uh, ballpoint pen then I went in to use color pencil so while the wash is still wet I went in to use color pencil again on the wet surface and I was able to do that because I was using different medium at that time so it opened this up different um, ways that you can use to create art and that's all for my video today I hope you try out this technique that I taught you today also one thing is one thing that I want to mention is that style there are many different aspects to style so even if you are watercolor artists um, if you just use strictly watercolor no problem at all you can change your style as well just by the different uh, style of drawing or just by a change of colors you can use different colors to change your style as well anyway that's all for my video today if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below I will try to answer them if not remember to subscribe to my youtube channel for more sketching tips and techniques art product reviews sketchbook features and more see you in the next video bye